I'm Jessica Metcalf. I'm a PhD student in Earth Science and Environmental Science at Western. What we do in our lab is we study the stable isotope compositions of different materials. And for my research, I work on the bones and teeth of extinct animals, specifically mammoths and mastodons. So a stable isotope is an atom of an element that doesn't decay over time. Um, and every element has a bunch of different isotopes. For example, nitrogen um, has nitrogen 15 and nitrogen 14. And the ratio of those isotopes um, in a sample depend on different things like what an animal ate, or for example, how long it was nursing. So what we do is we take a sample, like a bit of tooth powder enamel, we chemically purify it, we turn it into a gas, and that can be done either by reacting it with an acid or by burning it. And then that gas goes into a mass spectrometer, and so basically the mass spectrometer separates it by weight, and we can then measure the ratios of the different isotopes in the sample. Basically, I think the modern relevance of this kind of work is that the past is the key to the present. So as everybody knows, the world is undergoing a lot of climate change, um, and that has effects on animal behavior and habitats and, and can cause extinctions. So by learning about the climate in the past and animal behavior in the past, including things like weaning and nursing, we can better understand um, the changes that are happening now in the present and then hopefully use that information to try to predict future changes as well. You can just do so many different things with stable isotope analysis. Um, you can basically any material in the world, you can look at the isotope values within that material and find out something about how the world works.